Hey there guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Survival Horror Game Series. And in today's video we are going to be continuing on with the main menu and we are going to be setting up the option screen. So having said that, when the player presses on the option screen, it's going to give the player a couple of options to sort of change the settings of their game. Having said that, we're going to be adding in buttons to change the resolution. We're also going to be going over sort of like a scalability reference to uh, pretty much change the visual side of the game. So going over things like... Um, um, texture quality, view distance, and that kind of thing. And lastly, we're also going to be going over the save game kind of thing as well, just to reset the save game. We're not going to be doing the save game like sort of functionality in today's video, but we will be going over exactly how to add in the button and start working on the functionality. So anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive straight back into the engine and open up our widget for the main menu. So the reason why we're working this main, med main menu widget once again is it's got all of our stuff in there already so let's just go ahead and see if we can find that. So for me I believe that was going to be in one of my blueprints folders. I think this was textures, menu, graphics and then main menu graph uh, widgets and this will probably be wherever you saved it really. So just give that a couple of seconds to load up and we can start working on things. So the first thing that we need to do then is we actually need to start working on adding in those extra buttons into the sort of into our widget for the option screen. So I'll sort of show you the ones that we have got that I've added in. Um, if you don't have the latest version don't forget once again you can download everything that you're going to need in the download link in the description below. So the add extra buttons that I've got here are sort of the resolution buttons and sort of reset save game button and I believe there's also one more as well uh, there you are so basically we just need to quickly import all of those into the engine and then we can sort of bring them straight into the game so just pretty much select these in your little folder here drag them in just like that give them a second to import and there we are cool so let's start off with adding in the button for the uh, resolution. So I've only got two resolutions on here for now. You guys can go and add your own buttons, add your own resolutions. I will be going over exactly how you can add the functionality and then you can just sort of create more resolutions from there. So we've added in our button and we've got two for the resolution. So I'm going to make sure I've got two of these. And then the next button that I'm going to have is going to be for view distance. So I've got two of these in, so sort of higher view distance and a lower view distance as well. And then the last one that I'm going to have, not last one, I think I've got a couple more. So the next one that I'm going to have on here is sort of to reset the save game. And then the next one is going to be to sort of return to the main menu, so back to this screen. So we've done all of this and it's looking all great. So now all we need to do is sort of start adding in those images in the same way that we did for the normal main menu. So you just sort of go through these one by one and you've got to apply the images and hopefully it doesn't take us too long. So for now I'm just going to go over adding in the normal states for these. So the first one I'm going to have is uh, 920 by 1080. Second one is going to be uh, 1280 by 720. Next option that I'm going to have is view distance and then I've got to make sure that's the plus one to make it the higher one and then the second one is going to be view distance and then it's going to be the lower one there. Then we've got our reset save game. I think this one's just called button maybe uh, or reset maybe. So let me just double check in my little folder just to make sure I have got this in here. So reset save game is just called button. Uh, so let's go ahead and set that. Just type in button just like that and it will go in and then lastly we've just got exit I believe or return to menu let's just double check we've got that in here uh, no so we are just going to use the normal exit button for now and there we are and that's going to work perfectly fine for us so what we need to do now is we need to just make some final changes to these just go through the margins on all of these and just make sure they have got the same size as the normal main menu buttons now the reason why i want you these buttons to be exactly the same size is it will just make things look so much cleaner and just play just just work really really nicely um so just go ahead and do that and in terms of the size of the buttons themselves just go ahead and get the sizes up here I also advise you make the same changes to the option and exit button if they're not perfect. Just change the X and the Y on all of these. Just copy and paste the values. So just go through these one by one just to adjust that. So just copy and paste the X in first and apply that to all of these. Just like that. So da da da. And then hopefully when we change the, X, uh, the Y as well it should look really nice. 
So just copy and paste, control C, control V is all I'm doing. And now let's just go ahead and get this Y value and just paste it into all of these, just like that. So hopefully you guys, you know, if, if you, you are getting a little bit bored of me doing all of this, just quickly skip ahead and, you know, just carry on with the rest of the video. But hopefully this is looking quite nice. Cool. So the next thing that I want to do then is I actually want to toggle some of these buttons on and off of the screen. So when the player presses options, it gets rid of the normal menu buttons and then it sort of chucks on the options screen instead. So the way that we're going to do that is we need to pretty much get a reference to all of these buttons and then just start playing around with the visibility of these depending on the state of the menu. So what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to have to quickly set some names for all of these buttons just to make them easier to reference later on. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start by naming the start game button to start btn. Second one down is going to be options and I'm going to set that to options. BTN and you can put sort of see like the common theme that I've got going on here. So just keep on doing that exit BTN Okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and start off We've got all of these free in for now and then we can sort of work with the rest later on So what I need to do then is I need to add the functionality for the options screen uh, or the options button anyway So once again, we're just going to go down on this details and just create an on clicked event so that way one once the player actually clicks the button it's going to fire off this script and this script is just going to be a quick little toggle visibility uh, thing and for that we just need to get a reference to the buttons so let's go and get a reference to the exit button get reference and then just type in toggle or visibility set visibility and then we're going to set this to hidden so hopefully now, let's just go ahead and test this. We're not going to link up all the rest for now. Just press compile, press play. Make sure that you've actually got your main menu level open. Otherwise, you're just going to be loading up the example map. And we really don't want that. So just go ahead and save that if it asks you. Give it a second and press play. Any second now. And if we press the options button, it should sort of get rid of the exit button there and that's looking really really great and you can also see one other issue that we have got is the rest of our buttons are actually not on the screen at the moment uh, so they are on the screen at the moment and that's not something that we want so having said that we need to quickly go ahead and sort of move your buttons into position and then we've also got to scroll down to the bottom on here and we've got to change the visibility to hidden before I do that though, I'm just going to quickly set up my positioning and make sure I finish up the names as well. So I'm just going to quickly give all of these names 920 by 1080. The reason why I'm setting these names first is because it's going to be a little bit harder to click these and find them because when we set the default opacity down to zero or the deep, you know, the default visibility to zero, you won't be able to see it, you won't be able to click it. So, you know, just change it sooner rather than later. That way you don't really have to work with it anymore. So it's sort of just our way of getting it out of the way, really. So it shouldn't take us too long. I'm a little bit half asleep at the moment. I'm not feeling too great. Well, it's, it's, it's not really me feeling not great. I'm just hungover. It's no years. But anyway, so I'm just trying to get this out of the way. Hopefully I'm not just rambling on too much. Um, so exit, return. View distance is view distance plus. And then we've got one more up here, which is we're just going to call 1280. Now, I want you guys to sort of remember the names that you've got, but hopefully you, sh you guys should be able to understand exactly what I'm doing. And then just change the references with whatever names that you've got on here, really. So let's go into our graph after we put these into position. So we're going to have that one there. And we're also going to make sure we change the visibility on that to hidden. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one and change that to hidden. Now, I, w I want you guys to keep in mind that we are only going to be doing the hidden stuff to the stuff that we don't want to be shown on the screen by default. So having said that, that's only going to apply to the options menus and nothing else. Don't worry about the rest for now. There you are. So hidden. This one also needs to be hidden. Da -da 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 -da. And this one also needs to be hidden as well. We're just going to chuck it in there. 
and that is perfect cool so now that we've done that we need to go into the graph and we need to start setting up all the references for all the other objects as well so the next thing that we need to sort of get off of the screen when you press the options button then is obviously going to be the options button itself so we are going to get a reference to the options button and then we're just going to toggle the visibility and just like this toggle or set visibility and once again we are just setting this to hidden and just hook it up just like that next one is going to be the start button which is over here get a reference to it and then just toggle or set visibility cool and then you just hook it up and then let's go ahead and just set back to hidden and hopefully now when we press that button there shouldn't be any options on the screen at all so you can see I haven't set my default visibility for the uh, for the exit button at the bottom here um, but you know we can do that in a second but if you press uh, options it gets rid of all the main menu options and that's great so what we need to do now then is we pretty much need to have the return to main menu button sort of get rid of the option screen buttons and then bring on the main menu buttons so it's starting to become complicated you've got a lot of stuff that we need to do in here but let's just go ahead and crack on first thing I'm going to do then is just get this little exit button and set the default visibility down to hidden and if we go over to our graph let's keep let's just get on so from here then we need to do set visibility and this time we need to be doing this for uh, changing it to visible and getting a reference to everything that we want to turn on now one thing that I do want to you guys to keep in mind is you don't have to create a separate node for all of these if you wanted to you could just go ahead and hook up multiple references to one and that will just make everything look that much cleaner so it's going to do exactly the same thing and then over here we're just going to drag this in so this is the visible one now and we're going to get a reference to all of the things that we want to become visible when we press that so for me that is going to be this so that's uh, the 920 by uh, the 9 uh, 1281 and now the this one here and then we below that we've also got all the view distance options so we're going to chuck that in there as well view distance plus there should be one more in here I think I'll just double check it anyway view distance minus I didn't set the name properly so view minus go into my graph let's add that in and let's just chuck it in there and then what else have we've got we've also got reset in there let's chuck that in there as well and then I think there is one other option which is just going to be exit return as well get the reference to that and just chuck it in there so let's just go ahead and press complete just uh, compile press play and hopefully we should get all of our options coming up and you can see that's working quite nice and then I can sort of proceed to return to the main menu that's not working yet so basically what we need to do to actually get the player to be able to go back is we actually need to pretty much do the opposite of this now for the on clicked event for this button here so making sure that we've got the exit return button scroll all the way down to the bottom and create an on clicked event for this but this time what we're going to do is we're simply going to copy all of this and we're going to paste it down here and because we're going to be doing the opposite of these things what we're going to do is we're just going to change the hidden to visible and the visible to hidden if we press compile hopefully that should allow the player now to go ahead and switch between the menus so exit and it's going backwards and forwards now I, what I want you guys to do but you know what I want you guys to do now is I want you to go over the hover effects for all of these different buttons um, just go ahead and change the color on the hover effect do whatever you like add your own style for it and in the next video I'm going to be going over the functionality for all of these buttons so having said that I'll be going over how to change the resolution how to change the view distance from the Unreal Engine 4 scalability reference a separate video will be going over resetting the save game stuff um, but for now that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial once again guys thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and I will see you next time. Goodbye.